Hello and welcome back to another TBD6 quick tip. Today I want to show you how to split a main score into different movements. This is especially handy when you have, for example, a single Sibelius file for a sonata um, which has three different parts, or a concert that has three different uh, parts, or even a song collection of any kind. So the way we do this is we go to the last bar in a movement here and we, while it is selected, we go to the properties panel, go to the bars panel, and we select section end. It was already selected because I did it before, but you have to select section end. This way, Sibelius knows, oh, okay, this is the last bar in this movement, so here, this is the place I'm going to split later on. So let's go to the second part, select the bar and section end has to be selected. And the next step is to run a plugin. It's a plugin that splits a main score into splits score into movements, but you have to download and install this plugin first from the Sibelius website because <coughs> it's not included in Sibelius 6 standard. So the website I can show you for a moment. Let's see where's the website. It's this plugin here on Sibelius website split score into movements. So just download this plugin, install it the way it's um, it shows here how to install plugins and then run Sibelius again. And then without being without having anything selected, go to plugins and run the plugin split score into movements. Now you get a little bit of information about this. This plugin, this, this plugin splits the current score into a number of movements based on the location of bars marked as section ends, and that's what we did so just now. But here, so you can it will be named with a number at every at the end of every movement. It's okay for me. The, it will be saved to the same directory of the main score, and you can split only if section end is followed by, so in the next movement, followed by anything, or a title text, subtitle text, title, or um, subtitle text. But for me, I just leave it on anything, and you can make a choice between keep special bar lines at section ends, or use final bar lines for all movements, so that is this final. But it works perfectly when I leave it like this. So, And you can choose to close the movement after creating. We leave it unchecked for now. OK. Split square into movements. Ah, because I did it already before. But let's override it for this one so we can see what happens. Also exist already, so just let it override. Yes, I did this already, just before this little video. Okay, split score into movements. The number of movement scores created was 3, and that's exactly what we wanted. So, let's see how it looks like now. Here's movement 3 of this sonata. Here's movement 2 of the sonata. And here is movement one of the sonata. So now we have three different files of the sonata and mostly I am doing this in my engraving work because I want to export a single media file of every movement. So I'm using this option actually very often. So there you have it. Splitting a full main score into different movements. I hope you enjoyed this little tip. Till the next time.